Hey guys! <coughs> Welcome back to DKC3 and I just had some heart heartburn. That's why that's what the cough was about. So last time we did K3. Now we're heading on to Razor Ridge. Okay. Let's get started. Okay. This has some interesting music, if I must be honest. Thank you game all of its fucking interesting music well, true. music's good in these video games what in the hell is that green thing that's uh, weird. Is it an edit? Is it an 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 It looks like I don't know what it is. Uh, it look it kind of looks like a um a Kremlin. Let's say dressed up like a helicopter suit. It's really weird. <laughs> and he's just spinning in mid air just to keep himself aloft. It's weird. Oh wait, I think I know what you're talking about. I think I remember these fucks. Oh yeah! Uh, give me a sec, I can tell you what the fuck they're called. I think they might be called Buzzer. Because this level is called Buzzer Barrage. I thought Buzzers were the bees. Not the bees! Oh, ah, not this, the bees. Is, this is going. This is going to be absolutely amazing. This is going to be not friggin Nicholas Cage. Freaking ah, bee field oh, level. Woo hoo, man! I should just squeeze through here. Woo hoo! Right here, come on, you stupid thing! The enemy was. Or the enemy was. What'd you say they were called? They're green, and they look like they're wearing like a weird, uh, really no, weird no, helicopter no, no, no. suit. No, what you think their name is? Buzzer. Uh, the only, there is no buzzer. The only buzz is the um bees. Oh, there's a bonus game down here. Sweet. Oh, it's not one of these. Yeah, they're called copters. I'll give you one guess what they use instead of the sea. Okay. Oh my god, this bonus game's insane! Yeah, they're called uh, copters with a K because of course it's with a K. <sighs> I need some nice fun shortcut. That's always nice. Yeah, the shortcut with a K, because it's Donkey Kong, everything has a K. Well, here's the O. Jerk face. That means we should be coming across the, uh, checkpoint soon. Oh my god, are you crazy? Oh crap. It's right in the needle on this one. Oh crap, it's a copter elevator. Stay in the middle. Move it. Watch for the freaking 
buzz, good lord. You win! Yeah. Right, we didn't even hit the checkpoint. Where the hell is the checkpoint in this level anyway? God, I hope there is one. This level's gonna be a drunk category in the ass. I didn't mean to switch. I got a feeling that- Dude, I think there's only one more world after this one. I think we're about done. Cause there's the secret world, Krematoa, which is... We can do that if you want, but you don't have to. And then there's like another world that was only in the GBA version, so it's not in this. So after Razor Ridge, Razor Ridge, there's only one more world. So this is so technically this is the this is the second last world, excluding the uh, secret one. The secret one and the extra one they added in the GBA version, yes. Wow, I didn't think we we're that close. And I mean, the difficulty of this game is honestly... Like, it's been gimmicky, but the difficulty in general... It feels very yeah. similar to 1. Yeah, that's why I like this game more than... Because, you know what? I've defended 2-2 two, two a lot when you shed on it. Because I think deep down it's a good game. Like, there's good things in there. But I'm going to have to agree with you that I like 3 and 1 better. And like, 3 is weird. Don't get me wrong. And Stu's got better music in my opinion. But 3... It's, it's still a good game. I don't know why no one ever talks about it. Because no one shits on it. Like, it's not like ridiculed. Like, people shit on 64, but no one ever shits on that one. Oh no, it's weird. I think one's probably still my favorite, and then three, and then two, which is weird because everyone says two's the best one, and it's a good game, but I don't think it's the best one. Yeah, I do really like one, if I must be honest. Like, I think one's the best game uh, of the countries, anyway. Because I know yeah, you of have the a original soft part trilogy. For yeah, you have a soft part for this for sixty-four, so. I'm sorry oh, guys, I, I know that game is received a lot of hate. No, there's not a lot of people that like 64 because it's been... I, th I think the majority of the complaints that I heard about it is that basically... It's a, it's a collect-a-thon, like you have to collect a it's lot an, of things. It's, it's, a, it's an N64 era rare platformer. All of them are that. And people fucking suck Banjo-Kazooie's nuts, and it's the same goddamn thing. That's why I say you should play that, too, because apparently it's a lot like uh, DK64, and then it's, Holy shit. A good, it's a good 3D platforming collectathon. So I think you'd probably like that if it's a lot like DK64. Yeah, so because it does seem sometime. to have like a very similar feel as what 64 has, because I'm after seeing a few clips. Of yeah. Kazooie, and I'm just like, yeah, this is this this is 64 written all over it. I forget which one came forth, but one borrowed heavily from the other, obviously. I think Banjo Kazooie was first, and then they did DK64, and then it was Banjo Tui, and then Conquer, which Conquer is like those games, except a lot of toilet humor. Raunchy, gross British humor. Because you know, Rare is a bunch of British people, or they were at that time, so. And British people like toilet humor, apparently. Whoa, my god. Which, again, we're talking about a game where you literally fight a giant pile of shit, so. Yeah, and in the end, Conquer says was a. That's what I call a bowel movement. Like, man, such such class. Yeah, but that's why people love it because it was one of those games. It was one of the like 
maybe not the first, but one of the first really well well known games that just kind of said fuck it, didn't just try to be as like raunchy and offensive and just crass in its humor as it could. Like I imagine there was a few games before then, but like that was one of the ones that really went for that kind of humor. And the thing is. Another thing is, like, again, it's like this cutesy cartoon squirrel on, an, on the Nintendo system. You would never in a thousand years think it would be like this. From, like, first appearances. And then it turned out to be, like, this raunchy, this gross fucking toad in the game. Okay, how the Because most games... In that era, you kind of knew what you were getting into from the box art. Like, you kind of knew what oh. was going on. But Conquer, a lot of parents accidentally bought it because it was like a cutesy game. And to be Mr. fair, like, G. you know what's fucked up? Conquer what? was technically originally a Donkey Kong character. Huh. He was in the, uh, Don the N64 game Diddy Kong Racing. Then he got a GB, a GB game that was still, it was still kid friendly, like it was a normal, innocent plat 2D platformer on the GBC, right? Hmm. And then for some reason, get down. In, in bad okay, where am I going? They just said, they just said, fuck it. Like, I, I want to know how far into development they were. Like, if did they decide from day one they wanted to go this route, or did they start making a normal 2D platformer and then decide to make it raunchy? That's one thing I'd like to know about that game. I'd say it might be a better column A, a better column B, probably a bit of both. I think it probably started as a normal game and then they decided to do a different route and do something different because I mean they just came off doing Banjo Tooie and all these other kid friendly games and they just want to do something different. I mean they didn't just make kid friendly games, I mean they made like Killer Instinct and they made like shooters like Perfect Dark and GoldenEye and shit. But you know. I don't know, maybe they just wanted to let some steam off, as this was right before Microsoft bought on. This was right towards the end of Rare's Golden Age. So they were probably just overworked and frustrated and made it to let off steam. That's my theory. Hmm. Because, I mean, the last, well, their last game, Star Fox Adventures, which... I've seen an LP of that. And boy, does it show that uh, they were pretty much done at that point. <laughs> it it kind of shows because it's not. It starts out decently enough, but it really kind of just falls apart. Asshole! Let us and... buy. Yeah. Ish. But you know what's really weird these about things. that game? It's the worst. The worst part of it. What? Of Star Fox Adventures is all the Star Fox stuff. Because they put in like flight sequences, like space battle sequences that were clearly rushed and looked really bad. Like nothing like regular Star Fox, like just really rushed, cobbled together. And then probably the biggest thing is they do a Twilight Princess where... But even worse, because Twilight Princess, at least there was hints of it. But it, they do a thing where the main new villain you're fighting the whole time is not the real villain. Like, he gets killed by Andross like two seconds from the end and you, you never even get to fight him and you're like... Andross just comes out of nowhere and he's the bad guy. Out of nowhere. I'm going to the safe cave. Am I? Uh, okay, what? Okay, what? Why? 
Of course, that game wasn't even supposed to be a Star Fox game. This Nintendo didn't think they would it would sell as it was. Hmm. So they just said, "Fuck it, slept Star Fox on it." Probably the only good thing that came out of the game is Crystal. And a lot of fans okay, hate her because, cool. <laughs> well, fans have a love-hate relationship with her. Some people don't think she fits in with Star Fox, and other people like her because furries exist. But um, yeah, I think she's fine. They do some cool stuff with her and uh, Star Fox Command. They actually do some really neat stuff with her. So now. One thing I remember about this particular level, guys, I think this was in one of the hardest uh, DK levels of all time. Because of because as you guys notice, this rope is currently on fire, and we can't, oh so God, we can't move down too level. low, or we'll get hit by the flames. And we can't move up too high because we'll end up running a risk of getting hit by an enemy before we have a chance to react. Oh, dude, this level. Fuck this level. This is one of the few levels in the game I completely hate. I I'm getting some beat I check points. back to this shit. Like, yo, dude, I'm getting fucking Vietnam flashbacks. So I'm just... Oh yeah, thanks! Make that completely impassable. Shit. Yeah, like I said, this isn't whoa, a hard or bad game. Though I want you to go up, not switch to the right side, kitty. It does kind of over-rely on it. gimmicks. Like, a lot of the levels are really gimmicky. Okay, so how the hell do we pass these two idiots? Dude, I don't really need to fucking beat Returns. I've tried multiple times to beat that, but I always wound up getting sidetracked. I don't really need to beat that fucking game. Whoa. It's a good game. Okay. The waggling for rolling was stupid, and they should have just made it a button, but other than oh, that, okay. it's a fucking good game. Like, literally everything else about the game's great. That is Sweet. literally the only thing that's bad. Oh god. Move it. Well, that and the Tiki are kind of boring. I wish they just would've went with Kremlings. Yeah, I'd like they had the, since the beginning. Yeah, or the fucking Viking penguins and shit they had in... Tropical Freeze, which, yeah, they're not the Kremlings. But they're still kind of cool. Because it's Viking penguins. And Go away, it's still helicopters. Shit. Just Viking Arctic animals. Shit. That's kind of cool. By the way, they're still using K. Rule and Smash. How come he hasn't. Then they can still, they still have the rights, they can still use them. Why didn't they use him in the Returns games or Tropical Freeze if they can still use Gremlins in the game? Oh yeah, and speaking of that, apparently we did not, f according to the wiki, I believe I, I uh, found this information, we did not fight King K. Rool in DKC2. Apparently we fought Captain K. Rool. Apparently it's Karoo, King Karoo's brother. Full fucking shit. I'm sorry, I'm pulling the bullshit card. That's bullshit. It's him. Then who the fuck is... I, I can't spoil it, because you're not there yet. Um... The boss for this one? Cable. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I can't tell you that. Um... Cause I beat this, you haven't. Um, ah! It's cool, man. No, I why, hate the, the, I hate the, these. Then why does King K. Rool have the suck gun in Smash? 
Why does he have the suck gun in Smash if it's his brother? You. You know what? Yeah, I'm on the wiki right goddamn now. I managed to make it to there without getting hit. There we go. I, I'm I'm reading this. I'm looking this up right goddamn. Oh, ah. I don't like this uh, level very much. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm saying the wiki might be wrong because that's bullshit. It's just K. Rule wearing a fucking hat. Which? Okay, right side. Oh, stick to the right side. No, okay. Yeah, stick to the right side. Okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, under the alias of Captain K. Rule, it is just another name for him. He is still the same motherfucker. Okay, that was close. Yeah, there's nothing here about it being his brother. It's his, like, alter ego. It's just the pirate version of him. It's not even... No. I don't know where you heard that, but I'm on the wiki here, and it says straight up that it's an alias. Okay, stick to the right side. Because it's always him, just with a different theme. Like I didn't... Why do you insist on doing things I don't want you to do, you stupid controller? Like he's a king that you fight on a pirate ship in the first one. He's a pirate you fight in the castle in the second one. Uh, that you fight in an uh in this one. And then for some Whoa, reason... Whoa! Frame rate just crapped! And then for some for some reason, he boxes you in 64. Which is fun, if I must be honest. By the way, I just want to say this. He stood no chance because DK would fucking own him in boxing because DK is like a godly boxer. Like, play Punch Out for the Wii. Or look up Punch Out for the Wii. He's the Mike Tyson of that gang. Oh, God. Like, he, no, I'm not even joking, like, he's literally the hard, super difficult boss of that game. Okay. Left side. Now, right side. Stay on the right side. Uh-oh. Okay. Good, now switch. No, no, stay on the right side. Now switch. Well, my brain is useless. Okay, what is the purpose of this? Is there any purpose of this platform at all? That's what I really want to know. Is there any purpose to that platform? I had a bit of a hard time with uh, Quake. One hard level to another. Oh my god. I'll knock it off. Like, seriously. Hey, I, oh, 
from what I remember from the video is that this is like one of the hardest um, DK levels. But I can't quite remember what we have to do. I, I know we have to ride this rope upwards. But I'm not sure if we have to ride the rope all the way up. Or if we're supposed to stop at some point. I don't remember. I'm gonna stay to the right side. Oh, switch and jump. Okay. Now stay on the left side. Okay, so we have to keep on. Oh my god, seriously, game? I'm gonna kill you. Wow, really? How do we... I'm gonna use the safe cave again. No, not the cheer lifts. I didn't know that. <laughs> okay. Thank God this game decided to uh, make the um, fr the uh, saves forever free. I'm so glad they did that. Because having to pay to save the game using coins, like, the first time it's free. But every other time after that, it's just a pain in the ass. Because they never did that in the first game. So I don't know why they did that in a second. Oh, Bjorn! His must be broken. Okay, so we we're, we're supposed to find a wrench for him. Let's see if we can get it. Oh no. <laughs> oh my lord. I can barely see anything. Just because I'm holding down the X button so we can just automatically just do that. As long as there's fish in front of us. Guys, I am terribly sorry if you guys cannot see anything, but I can't see that much better. At least these fat fish <laughs> provide some light. I guess this will be like kind of like an accurate representation of what would be like down below the depths, other than these like kilometer dark fish. I, it will be incredibly dark. Okay, let's wait for those spiky things to go back up. I assume they're sea ur I would say the sea urchins, but they don't exactly behave. They don't exactly behave that way, so I'm not quite sure what they are. Sorry if I got kind of loud there. I don't know why. I forgot we got hit. Now, is there, like, no place for us to go? Guess not. Down we go then. Oh, so it's just the yellow ones that make the light. Alright. Okay, that is nice. So we have to stab the yellow fish in the face. Oh, that's way better. 
Delight not stabbing a fish in the face. Those fish on the other hand, they just need to burn. But uh, that's going to have to do for the, uh, this. That's going to have to do for this time, guys. Apparently, we're almost done, which is actually kind of nice, if I must be honest. Because I'm not saying there this game is bad or this game is hard or anything. But I mean, like, I don't want this game to like. I don't like games that like drag on for too long. Say like two did, because like with two, and I even mentioned this in the video, like they just went overkill with the level. It's like right when you think, oh, I'm near the end, they add another level. I'm just like, okay, now I'm near the end. They add another. They add on another level. I'm just like, yeah, it just it gets to the point like. Really, game? Is this even necessary? <laughs> Already gave my thoughts and opinions on two. In uh, the ending of that game, so yeah. I don't exactly. I I don't think I exactly need to give any more of it. We'll do it again. So guys, um, sorry for smacking my mic. I uh, throw kitty at the like button if you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one. Later, guys. Hopefully next time I at least be a little bit more for giving. Wow. I'm not sure if that was my tongue or my throat, but something died mid-sentence. Oh yeah.